Welcome back to Hannity. We are in Davenport, Iowa, with a massive fun crowd, a rowdy crowd, and with GOP frontrunner uh, President Donald Trump. Let me let me just throw out a list of some of the significant issues that we're facing as a country, and and you've touched on a number of them. Uh, you mentioned borders day one. You mentioned energy day one. Uh, look at where our economy is. Last year, two trillion in debt. 38 trillion over, uh, 34 trillion overall. Right. We this year, Mr. President, will pay before we spend a dime yep. one trillion dollars on debt service right. alone right. before Medicare, Social Security, National Defense. That is unsustainable. Yeah. So we before COVID hit us, our gift uh, from China, that was our gift. What happened to us with COVID, commonly known as the China virus. They don't like that. <laughs> But it was a China virus. We were doing energy, taking our liquid gold out of the ground at a rate that's never been seen before, and it was going up. We were going to be using that liquid gold to sell to Europe instead of the pipeline from Russia, which I exposed and I stopped. You know, I stopped that line. Then they say I was nice to Russia. There was nobody that was nice. I was not nice to Russia. I stopped that pipeline. We would have been selling oil and gas to Europe, to Asia, all over the world. We would have been paying off debt. That debt would be way down right now because we have more. You know, what people don't know, we have more liquid gold than any other country in the world by far. And we started off in fourth place. We were number four. It was Saudi Arabia, it was Russia, it was two countries fighting for number three, and it was us at number four or five. By the time I left, we were number one by 25%. We would have been number one by 100. And we would have done twice what they were going to do combined. We would have been paying look, off debt, look, and we would have been that's reducing what I want to taxes. Ask we gave you the biggest tax cut in the history of our country, bigger than the Reagan tax cut. We would have been reducing taxes still further. And that's why, Sean, that's why we had the most jobs of any president ever, because we gave the, we got rid of regulations, tremendous. No president got rid of more regulations or close. And we gave you the big tax cut. So everybody had incentive, and everybody was happy, and everybody was working. I remember groups came to see me that wouldn't normally like me, and they said, we've never seen anything like it. We were actually starting to get along, but we got hit with the China virus. We were, some people think purposely. I don't. I think it was incompetence. But some people think purposely, because we were doing so much better than any other country ever, and we got hit. But I will tell you, we would be paying that debt off right now at levels like never seen before. So and we it would have been a beautiful you, thing. You brought us to energy independence for the first time in 75 right. years. Before yep. you ran, I remember we had many discussions about energy independence, energy independence. And you're saying that you would, in a second term, you will push America to be the most energy dominant country on earth and that you could pay down that $34 trillion in debt, and we won't have a trillion dollar interest payment every year. That's right. We would get it way down. And, you know, look, so it's Biden inflation. That's what it is. What he did with energy is unbelievable, because energy went up so much, gasoline $5, $6 a gallon, that that's what caused inflation. Now it's all over the place. But you have 29 percent total inflation. Now, when it holds up, because the economy is starting to slow down very substantially, so when it holds up, he's saying, well, we don't have too much inflation. But he doesn't talk about all of the inflation that you've had to suffer over the last three years. No, we will have numbers like you've never seen. We have a thing in Alaska called ANWR. Ronald Reagan tried to get it approved. Everybody took Bush, maybe a little bit. You know, he didn't work as hard. But we have, we have ANWR in Alaska, the biggest anywhere in the world, including probably Saudi Arabia. I got it approved. I was so proud of it. They ended it in the first week. They ended it. They turned, we'll get it back. But we have more than anybody. We have more wealth than anybody, but we don't use it. And then guys like DeSantis and guys like many of the Democrats, but guys like DeSantis and, to a lesser extent, Nikki Haley, they want to play around with your Social Security. You don't have to touch Social Security. We have money laying in the ground far greater than anything we can do by hurting senior citizens with their Social Security. Ron DeSantis wanted to bring up on Social Security. Now, of course, he says, well, I wouldn't. But you know, one thing I learned about politicians, I've known them, I've dealt with them on the other side for a long time. 
their first thought is always the thought that they go to. He wanted to raise the minimum age, the age on Social Security to 70. That's a big increase. But he also wanted to raise it to 75. If that happened, people would be devastated. We have such incredible wealth under our feet that that takes care of everything. It will take care of... You know, if you go to Saudi Arabia, and they bought many Boeings, many planes, and I said to them, do you use financing for that? They didn't even know what the word meant. They have so much money. They have a fund, $21 trillion. It's all for oil. And we have more oil and gas than they do. Our country can be rich again. John Kerry has to be stopped. He's destroying our country. This guy. I mean, think of it. He goes all over the world in a private jet, by the way. He goes all over the world talking to these people about getting rid of coal plants. They all laugh at him. They, you know, treat him with respect. He's gone. They say, what an idiot. What a jerk. <laughs> and then they go ahead and they build their coal plants. He goes to China about, uh, let's say, uh, the atmosphere. He talks about global warming. He talks about all... You know, they don't call it global warming so much. Now they call it climate change because it wasn't working. Global warming wasn't working when it was cooling. So now they call it climate change. That takes care of everything. I am an environmentalist, but we're going to destroy our country with this Green New Deal stuff that doesn't you know, work. Just to finish, we have so much wealth and power under our feet. No other country has it. China doesn't have it. Why are we going to electric? They do have what you need to do the batteries, but they don't have what you need to do the gasoline. We have... And it's what, it's what people want to drive right now. And there's a little story about it, but you're going to see it a lot, I guarantee you. They have so many electric vehicles, nobody wants to buy them. They're expensive, although they'll probably get them oh, by the way, cheap now. Three, nobody wants to buy them. 3,000 dealers around the country wrote Biden and said, please stop making us sell something they don't want. Ford you, lost four and a half billion want. dollars. Let me ask you this. You know the government is subsidizing that. A lot. They're so paying they're a lot. Saying every time you make a car, we give you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and the people don't want them. And, you know, I'm not knocking electric cars. We should sell electric, but we should also sell uh, combustion engine gasoline cars. We can sell hybrids. The hybrids are fine. We should be able to buy everything. Some people might like an electric car. We should be able to buy an electric car. But to say that we're not going to do... And this is our strength, because we have this stuff under the ground, and we have people going around really destroying our country. They're destroying our country at the border. They've, they will allow, in my opinion, because you don't hear the real numbers, 15 million people into our country by the time Biden gets out, which hopefully will be very soon. If they get another term, this country is finished. By the time he gets out, and the people are coming from prisons all over the world, they're coming from mental institutions all over the world, and they're terrorists, and... This country is going to be suffering a very big price. It's amazing that it hasn't happened. And interestingly, I had very strong borders, the strongest ever. We had the strongest border in history. All they had to do is leave... Mr. Leave Brandon Judd and Mr. leave Tom Homan and leave all these guys. Let me we had put the this up on the screen. Borders. Yeah, we had the strongest let me, borders in history. Let me history. put this on the screen. Go ahead. We, Iran is the number one state sponsor of terror. Right. OK, well, foreign nationals founded our southern border because of Joe Biden's open borders. Right. From Iran, 659. From Syria, 538. From Afghanistan, 6,386. Egypt, 3,153. 12,605 from Russia. 26,113 from China. Now, could you explain to me, do you, what do you think the odds are that among that group of people, from our top geopolitical foes in most cases, yeah. that terror cells have entered the country because of the 8 million people Joe Biden has allowed into this country unvetted. What are the odds? The odds are 100%. Look, why do we have 26,000 people? How scary is that? Think of it. It's 100... No, it's 100%. And by the way, we had nothing during my... Remember, I had the travel ban. I said, I don't want people coming from countries that want to blow us up. And we put a travel ban, and some people thought I was discriminating. But if you think about it, I went four years with no problem. We didn't have any problem. We didn't have buildings being knocked down. We didn't have World Trade Centers. We didn't have any of that. We had no... We had a very strong travel ban. And if you came from a country that was 
The country, I can tell you right now, I can name every one of them. We just didn't want you. I'm sorry. And we actually had it passed by the Supreme Court, and that was a big day. But we didn't have a problem. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.